Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you today about a malfunction problem I had with the fire control group and I called the company uh, to give me instructions on how to get it fixed. I'll show you on this picture right here that it was basically a simple fix of just uh, screwing down two different screws to tighten up the fire control group so that I wouldn't have malfunctions. But more importantly, this video is a little bit about humor. I can't show you how to fix anything uh, due to YouTube rules, but I can kind of make light of the two different ways people learn. One is through education, the other is what I call education. Both are learning. One is up front, where you use a tell, show, do method. The other one is you go ahead and tell, the person does, undoes, and then redoes. So both of us sometimes either have education or education depending on how we learn. So I hope you have a good sense of humor with this. Have fun watching. Let's get out to the range. Let's get to shooting. So the difference between education and education has to do with two old football coaches that I knew. Uh, one was an offensive coordinator and the other was a defensive coordinator. Now the offensive coordinator wanted his players to be really smart, be prepared, to be able to go ahead and do their job, get it done properly, and to score without making any mistakes. So he asked all of them to come up one by one to learn how to do education as far as to not be hit. So, first player comes up, the coach puts his hand up against the wall, a solid wall with his hand. He tells that kid to go ahead and hit that hand as hard as he can. So the kid complies with the coach, rears back, goes to hit that hand at the last second, that coach moves his hand, kid hits the wall. All of the players that watched that after that didn't fall for that. That's called education. Now, the defensive coordinator, he was a tougher guy. So he said one at a time without other players watching, he had each player come in and he says, okay, I'm going to give you education. Now, he did the exact same job. He put his hand out against the wall, told the player to go ahead and hit it. That player reared back, the coach moved his hand, and he went ahead and hit that wall. But the other kids didn't know what was happening. So that kid left, went outside, and the kid said, the other kid said to him, said, well, what did you learn from the coach? And he said, well, I learned what education is. And he said, what's that? And he says, well, you want me to show you? Because I've got education. He said, well, what is it? He goes, hit my hand. So the point is, is that to have a mentor or somebody that can teach you the right way so that you have education and not education. Now, we all see it on almost every firearms episode that I enjoy watching on YouTube. We... We see people that are highly skilled, highly trained, that are passing on information, that are making demonstrations, etc. I hope that they stop being punished by YouTube because obviously it's a public service that they are providing. But there are some people out there that go ahead and, and willy-nilly enjoy shooting and all that kind of stuff and kind of have a cavalier attitude about it and go out and shoot. We still enjoy it, but all of a sudden there's a catastrophic failure and and we learn by seeing the catastrophic failure that they had and learn not to repeat it. Again, back to the offensive coordinator, the defensive coordinator. Do not repeat it. Learn from your mistakes or be prepared to make no mistakes at all. Well, nobody's perfect. Well, that's what I'm out here for today. This is my AR. Uh, I started to have uh, not a catastrophic failure, but a failure of the fire control group. It is my job to make sure that that doesn't happen again through the knowledge that I have. So I called the manufacturer, asked about the problem, 
and he said there's two small screws that you need to make sure that they're snug and attached so I followed the instructions but I'm out here today to see if that failure or that that problem that I had with the fire control group is now fixed so the target is set up at 100 yards I'm going to shoot two five shot groups so let's see if that instruction that I got worked so was it education or education? Here we go. Bullets I'm going to be firing are these Everglades bullets. I bought them as a bulk bullet. They're not really that accurate, but fun to shoot. Uh, they are a <clears throat> a soft point bullet, so it is a hunting bullet, not a real frangible bullet. Okay, so the edu education part is the first five shot. I'm going to do what I was told and find out if everything works correctly. Be the target on the left. Five shots. Got to put my ears in. See, you can always be edu get educated by mistake. It's a mistake I make often, unfortunately. Not that a two-two-three is that loud, anyway. But hearing protection is something you can't get back. And at my age, I need everything I can get. All right. Okay. That looks pretty good. All right, so the target on the right now is because now I've got the first part of my education done. Now I'll work on the last part, which is to verify. That'll be the target on the right. Another five shots. Because remember, firearm safety, firearms training, Firearms practice should all be performed before it becomes imperative for its use, whether that would be hunting, home defense, competition, or whatever. Okay, now it'll be the target on the right. The first five shots gave me the education that I needed. Now the next five shots will verify what I was told by the specialist and to verify for my own so that it doesn't happen again. And also to see whether or not I can improve on that first five target. So here we go. Five shots. Target on the right. Okay, so let's go see which target was education, which target was education. Let's go look at it. All right, so let's find out what type of education I got today as a direct result of having a malfunction that I called to get information on from people that know more than I do. That, so the first part of the education was the first five shots uh, from the center of that black to that first line is one inch. So what would you say? That's uh, three quarters of an inch for a five shot group. Okay, then the next one was to verify 
from what I was told and to put it into practical application for further education, well, again, from the center to that first line is one inch. So maybe just a little over a half an inch for that. So I hope you enjoyed this today, folks. And thanks for watching, folks. God bless you all. See you next time. Goodbye.